Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I want to talk about how to improve or enhance your controller setup for Final Fantasy XIV. Now, there's a lot of guides out there how to improve your keyboard and mouse setup for Final Fantasy XIV, but there's not too much love out there for controller users. So, today I'm going to just briefly go over how to, uh, if you're new to the game, you may not know about this stuff. So, I'm just going to briefly go over it, you know, this so... You know, if anybody's new to the game, they can um, get the most out of the controller. Now, let's see. You're going to go to character configurations, right? Now, really, though, if you're new, you should go through all your settings and, and, and just analyze everything. Get, to, get very familiar with your settings because there's a lot of features in the settings that the game doesn't tell you about unless you go through it. So, right here. You're going to go to character configurations. You're going to go to hotbar. Even though if you're on the if you're on the controller uh, right here, what you're using right here isn't called a hotbar; it's called a crossbar. So if you're using a controller, you're on the PS3, PS4, or anything. This is right here is called the crossbar. So don't get this confused with a hotbar. This is a crossbar. It's, it's different. What the what the hotbar is is what PC people well not PC people but what keyboard and mouse people use. So right here, you're gonna go to hotbar settings go over to custom and you're going to enable a few things right here you're going to enable the expanded crossbar now what that's going to do i'm going to talk about that in a second and then right here you're going to enable the uh, double crossbar this is a new feature that has been added into the game uh let's see is there anything else you have to enable now you can also um i'll talk about more later but let's talk about what the what the expanded crossbar and the double crossbar does for you. Now, what this is going to do is basically give you a little bit more space on your uh, on your crossbar. Now, you see my crossbar right here. You know, very simple. I mean, I um, let's see. This is my old, so I don't have too much skills on it. You know, so I I tend to keep it a little bit clean. But uh, let's see. This is what the your shared crossbar does so if you hold down the r2 and then you hold down the l2 you'll get completely different slots if you hold down the l2 first then the r2 then you'll then you'll get something completely different now keep in mind that uh that these uh slots that uh that appear you have to select where um they're coming from through your crossbar you probably notice if you're a new player that you have multiple different crossbars up to eight so you have to select where where those crossbars are going to come from so right here you go so you go back to uh your your settings go to hotbar go to custom and you can actually pick where uh your your expanded crossbar is going to uh, show up so if you wanted to be in uh crossbar two then it could be in crossbar two just keep in mind from left to right that's a big difference Basically, left is with starting with L2, then R2, then right side is with R2, then L2. It's all very simple. So basically, if you're 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 fighting, if you're fighting in anything, you know, you if you're like a caster, or I'm I'm just going off of uh, what what a conjurer does or a white mage does, since that's the only um, example I have at the moment right now. But uh, let's see, you're you're casting stuff, you know, using Medica to. Uh, you could be, you could hold down R2, L2, and you get you know completely different features right here. Now this is something very simple that I see a, a lot of you know new controller users don't really utilize too much. In fact, uh, when I was new to the game, uh, I didn't know about this feature until like many months later. Now this other feature is called the double uh, crossbar that this uh, came out um, in the most recent patch. Now what this does. I didn't uh, really, you know, um, utilize this on this character yet. But what this does, if you double tap the R2 or L2, you'll get completely new slots as well. So if I was to double tap this, uh, the R2, then you'll get different slots. If I was to double tap the L2, then you get also more slots. Now, uh, as as a new player or something, you'll probably say like, "Oh man, like what what is what is all this? Like, what is the point?" To all these more slides so i could uh you know i was getting around just fine you know scrolling through uh my different crossbars and stuff like that but 
I don't know. Uh, basically, um, this is going to help you uh, be a little bit more quicker and, and keep everything a little bit more organized. Um, I mean, you don't have to set it up how I set it up, but how I do, I, I usually set up my most uh, immediate skills that I need on the fly on my regular crossbar on, on crossbar one. And then like on the shared crossbars, I usually keep, uh, you know, like protect or cleric stin, uh, Asuna, uh, raise, you know, stuff that you don't necessarily need, you know, like right then and there all the time. So you can keep that on the back burner. So you don't have to like, uh, you know, click over to R1 and go to a different crossbar and then click back to your, your main crossbar when you're done with it, you know. This is basically, if you just hold it down, release, and it goes back to your original crossbar. Now, what I'm actually going to do now, now that I have the double crossbar, what I'm going to do, um, I mean, you don't have to do it like this, but uh, basically, uh, well, well, first let's find out where the double crossbar is actually located in my crossbars. Uh, all right, so my double crossbars are uh, located in crossbar 8. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move a couple skills to crossbar 8. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to move Cleric Stance to crossbar 8. Let's see. I'm going to move, uh, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to move all my DPS skills over to crossbar, uh, over to my double crossbar. Since I'm a, since I'm a healer, you know, uh, I, I, I mean, other people would say uh, differently, but I think if you're if you're a healer, you know, your your main focus isn't really DPS. So what with the double crossbar, I believe is used for, and, it, and it's kind of janky too. Let me let me let me uh, get off by saying that the, the double crossbar could be utilized a little bit better. They could improve on it because I, I just was uh, recently using it on my main, and what I notice is. Sometimes when the double crossbar actually gets in the way because like I said how to activate it You have to double click it your R2 or L2 just to activate it Hold on I didn't move it to the right slots uh, Man, wait, where did I go? Oh All right, let me Move this to the right place So now if I activate the double crossbar, I get all my DPS moves nice and clean over on the double crossbar spot, you know, as a DPS. So I can just activate cleric stance. I got arrow, stone one, stone two, arrow two, all nice and cleaned and deactivate it and bam, right back to the original um, crossbar. Now, uh, my crossbar doesn't look too impressive right now because, like I said, this is my ult, so I don't have too many skills on it, but I'll make a different video on my main to um, talk about uh, more about this stuff and how to um, actually use your uh, your hood and change your hood to help you out, you know, um, with your uh, skills and everything like that. But that's a whole different video. I just wanted just to talk about a little bit about, uh, you know, about the, the shared hotbar in the cross hotbar. So... Let's let's go over this one more time. So you have your shared hotbar, how you use it, you know, you hold R2, then L2, and you'll get something different. You hold L2, then R2, then you get something different, you know? I like to keep, you know, um, yeah, like I said, I like to keep things kind of not things that you don't really use on the fly on your shared hotbar. And um, the double hotbar, you know, you could use like for like very obscure type of things. Like on my ninja, on my main class, I kind of keep my poisons and stuff like that on my double hotbar. So like, you know, I'll double tap R2 twice and then I have my poisons right there. Nice and simple stuff that you really don't use in battle too much. You know, you keep in your double hotbar. And uh, I'll, I'll talk, I'll show uh, a few more tricks um, about how to really, uh, really use it and not really have to, not really uh, get in the way of you playing because it, it is going to get, uh, you are, you're going to have to get used to uh, all these uh, new settings on your controller. Like if you didn't enable any of these settings, it is going to get, uh, you're going to have to take some time to get used to it first to really get the most out of it. You know, I've been using the shared hotbar for a while, so the shared hotbar is pretty 
uh, simple for me to, to get a hold of. Using the double hot, um, hot bar is a, is a, is a extremely new feature. So, but I think I got the hang of it, but you know, I don't know. I think it looks a lot cleaner. You know, it, it's a lot better than you going through your different crossbars and, uh, looking at, a you know, where your skills at. Basically, if you have this setting, how I have it, you should have, you could have all your moves and, and then some, you'll have all your moves on your first crossbar and then you have your double crossbars and then your, your shared hot uh, crossbars and you should have plenty of space for all your skills by the, by the time you hit level 60. Um, let's see, for the double crossbar, uh, if you're uh, on a controller user, you could use your potions, you could put potions on your uh, crossbar, not have it get in your way. So like I could put ether here Let's see. Remember, also remember where all, where you put all this stuff at as well. So, so like I hit I hit the the left cro uh, double crossbar and I and I, I'm popped up with ether right here. I can pop it, bam, and then I'm right back to um, crossbar one. You know, it's it. Trust me, it's a lot better than having you know most of your moves on uh, crossbar one and crossbar two because if you don't enable these settings. The, when you get more moves, they're just automatically going to go to the the second crossbar if your first crossbar is filled. And uh, trust me, if you're new to the game or if you've been playing this game, you don't want to just keep switching back and forth from crossbar one to crossbar two to look for your skills. You want all your skills to be on the fly. Bam, you know, I got my DPS moves, turn off cleric stance, you know, bam, you know, I got... Uh, as a healer, I, I'm what I'm gonna do with this character. I'm gonna keep all my main heals on the crossbar one, and uh, you know it's really easy to look at, see what's up, see what's uh, what's accessible, and uh, double crossbar. I'm gonna use like potions and probably most of my DPS moves on the double crossbar, and then for my uh, shared uh, crossbar, I'm gonna use like it for you know protect stone skin asuna and and the rays you know stuff that you really don't use all too much but it's always right there in front of you so thank you for watching this uh i'm gonna make uh the next video i'm coming out with is gonna be how to improve your ui setting for uh for this game and and stuff uh how to basically shrink it down stuff that you don't need how to um you know uh, activate your hot bars and put it on onto the screen as well um, people don't notice but uh, I mean a lot of people don't really use it too much but since if you're on the on your if you're on the controller you have access to not only the crossbars but the hot bars as well but the hot bars isn't enabled and I mean I'm not asking I'm not saying that you know you could use your hot bars to you know click skills and everything like that but it's all it could be handy to have your hot bars enabled this thing you know kind of uh you know put different moves on there so you know when they're going to come back so let's see if i was a, a white mage you know i pop benediction um you know you don't, you're not really sure on when benediction is coming back except for you you know checking where it is you know by you know uh you know clicking r1 or finding where it is on your crossbar to see when it's coming back it could always be on the screen so you know when it's coming back if you don't have room on crossbar one that is but um i don't know just a couple of tips and tricks for you know new players out there that you know isn't really uh you know um going into the settings and checking it basically the biggest advice i can i can give to a new player is when you when you're starting the game check the settings go through the settings it doesn't if, if it takes you an hour or two to get familiar with all the settings go through all the settings in this game second advice i'm going to tell you if if you're on the ps4 or if you're for on the ps3 please please get a keyboard guys buy a keyboard get a keyboard you know a keyboard isn't too much you could plug it right in using a usb the the uh the playstations are really you know custom to, uh, to have most of the keyboards uh you know you could you could use them on so yes so first thing check the settings get a keyboard and i'll talk more about 
um, the features on having keyboards and key binding stuff on your keyboard to, to really get uh, a hang of, uh, you know, uh, to get, get the most out of your gaming experience, you know. So you're not too clustered fuck with a bunch of skills everywhere, you know. You want things to be about as, um, about as simple and, and, and kind of, you want your skills to make sense where they're at. You know, but uh, I'll, I'll have more videos in the future about this. Uh, if you have any uh, for for any of the the veteran players out there, if you're watching this, if you have any advice you want to give to the new players or give to me, you can leave a comment below. Um, if if you're new to the game, if if you need any more advice, you could just leave a comment or something like that, and and uh, I'll I'll make sure to give give replies. But that's it for this video. Uh, I will catch you guys later.